But when we started building the house, we had no idea where we were going to live. So it was a complete act of faith because we don't have enough money to be able to own land. We knew the area that we wanted to live in. I just posted a picture of our house, just said, you know, does anyone have any land? Does anybody want us? Hey y'all, today we are in Wales and uh, Tom and Amy are going to give us a tour of their self-built tiny house where they have been living for one year. It's completely off-grid. Let's have a look. These doors were sanded and painted by myself. Um, Tom did a lot of the building work here and I did a lot of the painting and the sanding and um, we, we both designed it together and I did as much as I could with the skills that I had. This is our, our little burner, our tiny wood stove. We got this on eBay. It's um, really tiny. It's really yeah. tiny. It's really, really dinky. The thing with this is that we have to cut the wood, like we have an axe there because we, we really have to cut the wood quite small to get it in there. So. Um, but it works really well in the winter. Um, with this, the insulation, because the house is insulated with sheep's wool, um, and sometimes just cooking dinner and having the oven on, it was enough to warm the space. So we were, the good thing about living tiny is that you don't need um, a lot to heat up the space. And you have a copper around that heats up the water. Yeah, so this was this was Tom's idea. This was his, his invention. I'm sure other people have done it, but yeah, so, We've put copper around and we have a we have a pan here, a stainless steel pan, and we put water inside um, and there's a tap here. So when that's on in the winter, we heat up the water and then we use it for washing up so that we don't have to be using the gas. Um, and it worked really, really well. And we've also added this grate so that we can cook on the stove. So we can put some big, some of our stainless steel pans and we can cook stews and curries and all different things on there to again save, you know, save us having to, to use the gas. Um, so, so far it's worked really well. And about insulation, how thick it is? So we used, um, we used two by four to build the construction because we wanted to make it quite sturdy and to have that extra insulation. So we have a hundred mil of um, sheep's wool insulation. Um, and we've used a breathable membrane because we wanted to have, we didn't want to have a vapor membrane that was, we, we read lots of horror stories about vapor in a tiny house okay. and um, the house being able to breathe. So we've, um, we used a membrane which allows sort of, uh, it's quite, it responds to the, the seasons and allows. So it's breathing both ways? Breathing both ways, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, and we found, we haven't had. The pit any, rock, it was called. Oh yeah, and we used, so that was another weight thing, we used uh, on the outside, underneath the cladding, with a product called Bitrock, instead of the um, the outer um, weather membrane. So, it's, uh, do you know the Bitrock? It's like a composite board and it's soaked in bitumen. Yeah. So it's not the insulation, it's like the extra, so instead of like having a layer of um, plywood or OSB mm -hmm. on the outside, we've got this Bitrock. And this is our, this is our wardrobe space, so... There were, I mean, we had to get rid of a lot of things to to be here, but um, yeah, this this is the space that we have for our clothes. We have a light so that we can we can look in um, and see in, and yeah, and it's we really can't buy any more things. Like this is jam packed, as you can see. I'm surprised it didn't all fall out as I opened it, like stuffing it back in. So yeah, this this is um this is our wardrobe space, and then in these two drawers we have like underwear and. They're quite, they're quite deep, so we have, you know, our clothes that are in here, quite a lot of storage, and the yeah. same with with um, this, yeah, Tom's drawer underneath there. Yeah. Oh, this so, less is more. So exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, this sofa was free. This was a foraged good. This was from Free Cycle as well. So someone was just getting rid of this, and we decided we went and picked it up. Um, and then um, Tom sort of built the sofa like um yeah you, you built the sofa around the house yeah like so made it, it pulls out to a um a full double bed and it also pulls out to a slightly more comfortable um sofa like that so it's, you can lean back into it um and it also we have under here we've got more storage so that's all of amy's summer clothes and we have our like all of our um linen, bed linen and, and stuff like that so it's not, yeah. it's not the comfiest sofa in the world, like, you know, we, we've adapted it to make it more comfortable. But again, we just used what we had, like, we yeah. couldn't afford to, to go out and buy, you know, buy a, a sofa to come in here. So we just... Well, it's also, with, when there's tiny space, with the, with the space as well, if you have a big sofa, 
you're wasting space, so we wanted to make the most of the yeah. space. Yeah. And you got proper floor. Like thick proper floor. Yeah, yeah. so this is a there's a really cool story to this floor. Um I was I, I was out running and uh, I went past someone's garden and they had this big mound of floorboards and um, a lot of the wood that we have used was from this and I went and I asked the guy I said can I have this and he said yeah I'm just gonna burn it and um, so it took about three loads in the car as it was only up the road but um, Amy's dad actually helped me <laughs> and we went and picked it all up we came back here and when I worked it out of the floor space I realized it was exactly what the right needed. amount for this whole space for the upstairs for all of this um, there was not one bit of wood spare it was exactly right <laughs> so strange yeah um, and a lot of these timbers as well we used was from the same pile um, so most of the timber on the inside if not all of it it was kind of was found or foraged or or donated um, so we yeah we were quite thrifty on the on the inside yeah uh, most of the um, all of the architraves and everything is from pallet wood. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And the only timber that we bought was this tunnel groove on the roof. We got a bit of handy storage under here too. Um, these flip open and this sort of flips up and we can put some things in here. Tom keeps his art supplies. Um, not so easy to get to all the time, but it works as storage. So they're really handy to have. Things that um, we don't need to use very often. Yeah, and we also can use it when we're sat on the sofa to put our drinks on or um, as like a little side table almost. And then books, um, we needed space for our books. I, I'm, I write, I'm a writer, so I also have lots of um, notebooks and, um, and absolutely love to read. So um, th these bookshelves were also from foraged wood um, that we were able to use. And you're climbing. And climbing, yeah. Yeah, the crush, yeah. I try. I uh, I don't really train as much as I. I bought it and I thought oh, I'm going to train every time. But um, yeah, I do like I do like to climb. So when I feel like it, I do some finger training. And this is our. We have a water filter here. This was how we were able to. We were drinking the rainwater basically, and this is what it was going through. Um, this was another piece of foraged wood that was lovingly sanded and varnished. So yeah, um, my, my my dad is a he sort of fits kitchen in the bathroom. So in his shed, he had lots of really nice offcuts of things. So we managed to get this offcut of worked up, and then these um, this is like acrylic worked up, which is really nice stuff. And he he had just a piece left over, so we we used that um, for our kitchen space. It's more sanitary. Yeah, we got this this chair Ooh. here was a freebie again off free cycle, and this was made by Tom, which is just gorgeous. So this was made using hemp um, for this part, and yeah. I meant to make another one, but I never did. So that's where we got. <laughs> so that we one. fight over this chair a lot. <laughs> we always want to sit on this chair. Yeah, it looks very comfortable. It's gorgeous, yeah. And underneath here is where we've we've put some extra hooks for shoes, um, um, you know, yoga mats, and we've tried to use some of the space under here too. We made we made the windows just a little bit too high so that when we're sat down we can't we can see out of the window but we were we were like if we were to do it again we'd maybe just lower it just that little bit so when we were having breakfast we could have the full range of this beautiful view. But um, you can watch the stars. There you go. Exactly. Silver lining. Every cloud has yeah. a silver lining. So yeah. Um, what else and they got proper stove. Double yep. stove. Yep. Yeah. So we haven't I mean, really. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> you can see sometimes when, when you don't spend as much, we fix this about three or four times, but there's just no fixing it now. Well, um, it, was a, it, was, it was a refurbished model, so it had like a dent in it, and it had, so it, I think it was an X um, display model. But yeah, it's really nice, really nice oven and um, stove, so we, we haven't really sacrificed anything with the, we can still bake and cook and um, uh, we've got four hobs there. So. Yeah. And these tiles, again, were someone was was giving these away. Um, we have the, the tiles as well on the back of the where the wood burner is. Um, and, yeah, and we really wanted a round window. I really wanted a round window. I'd seen, seen a lot of tiny house videos and I just, yeah, I really, really loved that as part of the design. It reminds me of the sun. Um, 
and yeah, it's one of my favourite things actually in this house is this window. These pipes were homemade, so again, this was copper that basically that they were made into into taps. They have a charm. Like copper ages really nicely. It goes like that sort of green green colour and. Yeah, it works fine, it works perfectly. This, unfortunately, this was originally supposed to go fully over here, um, but we cut it just a little bit too too short. So now it, it's, it's our way of sort of hiding some when we don't want to do the washing up. The thing with a tiny house is that you either have to clean as soon as you do something, um, because otherwise you just don't have the space. Um, so this is, yeah, this has helped because it gives us an extra space here over the, over the sink to be able to cut and chop and everything else so yeah that that was a, a good idea to put that in when we were building the house the funnily enough the first thing that went in was the bath <laughs> that's the first thing we did because it all sort of revolved around the bath so the, we'll show you in a minute but the bath goes behind here um so this is how we designed this kitchen space and we wanted to have the walkway we wanted to be able to walk into the the bedroom so we've kind of got like a half space here which these drawers open out so we've got quite a lot of storage for our um, cutlery and things like that and it works quite well as long as you don't leave anything here it's mm -hmm. very annoying you have to open the drawer you have to move everything here <laughs> yeah it can be a bit of a juggle so it really helps makes us stay a bit tidier yeah the design of the house we designed this by both sitting together and being like right what do we 100 percent want in our house like what are the what are the priorities for us we both had different things but it came down to for me i needed a bath like i wanted a full length bath i just didn't want to sacrifice that it's, it's a pleasure for me to have a bath and and a, and a desk as well they were they were the two things that we realized that we really needed and so yeah the house was built around those those decisions and this is the sort of Dometic fridge here. Um, it's, it's really small. It's a tiny little freezer section. And turns on 24 volts. Yeah, this is, uh, it runs on 24. That, that goes direct from the batteries. Um, so it's super low energy. So we can run it all through the year on the solar system, mm -hmm. which is really important to us. It hasn't really been a problem, has it, having a smaller fridge? No, you just adapt to what you have. Obviously, we know that we can't freeze a lot of things. So we, we just... Um, mm. Our, our cooking revolves around that. We don't have ice cream very much. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> so but you know. There's... Um, these drawers, uh, I'll show you this one. So I, I really like the idea of these basket drawers so that for fruit and veg to allow some airflow. Um, so yeah, those are really good. That's where we keep our fruit and our veg. We made the most of every little end space. So hmm. we keep our chopping boards in here. We've got a bottle rack down there. Um, and then these, again, drawers are for just stuff, um, really useful all of our bags. And we, we do a lot of cycling, so all pannier bags go in there, spare things. So every space has been, has been used. Yeah, we've got a little pantry here. So we pull out where we keep all of our cans and peanut butter and... And there's different sections there pastas on the other and, side. Yes, yeah, so that's really handy. And then... Underneath the sink, we have where we keep our organic bin. Um, and then next to that, we have our drawers for, um, yeah, for some of our lids of our saucepans. And then we have our cutlery drawer um, in here as well. And the same with this drawer. This is all of our kitchenware. And we do a lot of cooking, so we needed quite a lot of space for our kitchenware. And then all of our other ingredients, our tina, our kombucha. <laughs> Um, and some of our other ingredients we, we have um, put up on these shelves. Fresh eggs. Fresh eggs, fresh yeah, eggs, fresh yeah. eggs. That's... Still got poop on them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, all of these, the drawer fronts and all of this, I, I made all of the cabinets with all the leftover ply from here. Um, and then all of the drawer fronts were made from, um, from went on FreeCycle, which is a site where you can thing people put things up for free there was loads of bed people were giving away double beds with the bed slats so lots of things in the house are made from bed slats so okay. these That's are all clever. bed okay. slats and i made all of the all of the drawers and for the cupboard as well um and luckily i had the use of a workshop so i could i could run things on the table saw and route things out um so yeah, we made all of the, the doors. A big part of being able to build this house was having the tools. Like Tom's dad is a carpenter as well. And so we were able to, to use his workshop and his tools. Otherwise, 
you know, it would have been so expensive to an, an extra yeah. cost to, to buy them or to hire them. Um, it was a real blessing to be able to, to have those. And I think we, we used, you know, the most out of that out of that yeah, situation. Yeah, we, we were able to save a lot of money because we were able to do a lot of things from scratch. Yeah. The bathroom. So, yeah, this sliding door. This, this I, I like this because it's, kind of, it's kind of a job that I did and then didn't really finish properly. <laughs> it looks drastic. It's, uh, it was a door I found in a skip and I just asked if I could have it and then it was too wide so I just cut a bit off and stuck the end back on. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks kind of funny, but... Um, yeah, yeah, it's nice. It, it saves space having the sliding door. Yeah. And then I'll let you do the bathroom tour. Okay. Yeah, so we have our compost toilet. Um, next to our compost toilet, we have some space for storage where we keep our toilet roll and we keep some cleaning products. And here is where we keep our sawdust to use in the compost toilet once we're done. Um, we also have, again, we got our homemade, homemade tap. Um, and tiles that were foraged, um, that were given to us for free. And yeah, and then we all of these drawers and these cupboards, we just pop all of our all of our shower and clean bits nice and bobs in there. Oh, thank you. The only thing about this sink is that obviously the we get a lot of water that, that builds there. So I think that if we were to do it again, we would do this sink a little bit differently. Um, so that the water doesn't build up in this area. And then we have a homemade shower. Um, so this again was made out of copper and, and then holes were drilled in. This shower is amazing. It feels like you're in the rain, that you're showering in the rain. It's, it's a really great shower um, and it's starting to weather really nicely as well. So yeah, we're really happy with this. Um, and it's a full length bath. So I've only had a few, a few um baths since I've been here because obviously you do have to save water as well and a bath uses a lot of water but I've enjoyed every single moment of um bathing in here and it sort of feels like you're in a cave it's like this secret part of the house that you don't know exists and you know light a few candles and um it's a really lovely area um and yeah it's a it's a great space this is my favorite part of the house I absolutely love this banister. We were inspired, we went to see a friend's house um, and they had something similar and it really inspired us. And this is made from dieback ash, basically. So in a woodland, um, it, it, the ash was, was being cut because yeah, it had disease. And so we, instead of leaving it to rot, we foraged it and we whittled it and we sanded it um, and we made this banister. That looks very nice. Thank you. And you still have some storage in the stairs. Yeah, so we've got storage here, which is just like random bits and bobs, really. You always need a drawer just for keys and, and all of those sorts of things. And in a tiny house, it's no different. Odds so, and sods. Odds drawer. and sods, yeah. So that's our, that's our drawer for that. And that step is that you can sit, actually, there. This, this is where we put our feet for our desk. And these as well, these pieces of wood, which are just, they're absolutely beautiful. Like the perfect, you know, we spent a long time looking for, for wood that was, that was right to, to support the desk. And the same with this, with this piece here. So, um, yeah, yeah. This, this was all found. I'd be going for walks in the woods and then my eye would be just looking for bendy pieces of wood. <laughs> um, and with so, so much recycled material, it still took you only one year to build it. And you still was, were working full-time? Yeah, yeah, so we were working full-time. Well, I was working full, four days a week. And um, and studying as well. Yeah, we were studying. We were studying a master's alongside doing, doing yeah. the house and working. Not quite sure how we did it, really. No, I don't know how we did it either. It was sort of, once we had the idea, it was like this sense of urgency. It was just like, we have to do this. Like, we knew it was going to be a... A life change and we wanted to we also wanted to start a business we wanted to be our own boss um we started a forest school as well and we knew that we were going to move the house and and start the business all at the same time and so we just put our heads down and we just you know we had no social life for a, for a year we have no social life <laughs> we've had no social life for a long time but we just yeah. we just went for it um and worked really yeah. really hard it was definitely a passionate passion project yeah I'd, I'd wake up in the middle of the night thinking about hmm. wood and drawers and <laughs> that kind of thing. In a hot sweat, like, whew. Yeah. I yeah. know how it is. Yeah. yeah. And uh, money-wise, how much it was, this project? So, so, yeah, I think we worked out that um, 
the build itself cost us around 18,000, 18, 19,000. Um, and then there were some other costs. For example, we rented a barn space where we build it. So that was um, worked out to be a thousand pound. And then um, and then we spent, a, that's not including the solar panels and the batteries. So so all, all told it was around 26,000 pounds. And that's, that includes getting it here as well. So it yeah. costs us a bit of money putting on a load loader, paying for the tractors and all of that. So yeah, about 26, 27,000. Something like that, The yeah. upgrade system is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we but yeah, no, now we have no bills, and yeah, so it's definitely, um, yeah, we were yeah. happy with, with um, we saved lots of money wherever we could, and we spent the money where we thought it was important to spend it. So mm -hmm. like on the on the shell, we basically spend most of the money, so the insulation and the um, the membranes and the the roofing sheets mm -hmm. to make sure it was watertight, and then on the inside we were a bit more creative with mm -hmm. the materials that we found. This is our office. Um, we do work from home sometimes, so it's really good to have, um, we work together, we both run a business together, so it's really good, I can be here in the office and Tom's down there and, uh, you know, we, we can just be talking to each other, it's, um, it's a good way to work. Um, and we have here some cupboards, some storage that we also, we're coaches, we are wellbeing coaches, so we, d we work from home, we have lots of resources that we use for that, and so a lot of that is is stored in here yeah and sometimes like we we have bean bags as well that we put up here and we just use this as a bit of a chill out space we sit here and read um you'll see we love to read uh, we have a lot of books here so um it's really nice to have that space and yeah it's it's a, a lovely area actually i spend a lot of time up here and i get to see the whole house too like to have a little look out um which is yeah which is lovely to do so yeah. And I love the idea that actually can stand like all the way. I still have space actually. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. That was I, I don't know why that was a really important thing to be able to walk around the house. It feels like more like a bigger house than having to crawl everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And you want to show the bedroom. Yeah. So. This as well, just to say that this art is Tom's on the wall that we've got up behind you. So this was um this was one of his drawings, um, oh, really? okay. yeah, and Ga that that picture of Gandhi as well. Okay. Um, good old Gandhi, the peacemaker. This is the the bedroom. Um, we've got uh, so this this shelf here, which is our bookshelf, which kind of gives it a bit of a its own uh, kind of part of the house, and uh, it's where we keep all of our plants. Um, so yeah, it creates a nice kind of barrier. Um, this is one of my this is one of my favorite design features so um we're both i think it's safe to say we're both a little bit messy yeah. when it comes to clothes so and I knew this because we've lived together for a few years, so I wanted to have a place where we could just stuff the clothes that we're like wearing uh, instead of having to like put them back in the drawer so this is like our dirty clothes and then our active clothes drawers. <laughs> Tom's very hot on this active clothes, like, he needed uh, that active clothes Clothes that drawer. I'm wearing, because we don't need to wash your clothes every day, so clothes that you just keep wearing and just, we keep in here, so it keeps it quite tidy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then there's not much up here. We wanted this to be quite an uncluttered space. Um, so, yeah, we don't have, um, we don't have much else up here storage-wise. Our bed was another free oh, cycle. Yeah. Uh, well, this bed was amazing. It just goes to show what people are getting rid of, basically. And um, this is, um, what's the brand of this mattress? What's the brand of it? It's like a memory foam mattress, basically, like Temper or something like Tem that. Temper. Like, knew this was thousands, and someone was just giving it away, and she'd never even used it. Really? Um, yeah. And so, yeah, it's we... It's the comfiest mattress. It's amazing. This bed is so comfy. So, yeah, this this um, this bed is, is great. I mean, yes, we do have to crawl um into beds we can sit up and read which is nice um we've got an amazing view out of our window um so yeah it's nice because you can come to this space you can get changed standing up you don't have to and then put the clothes and then just crawl into bed yeah. and um and i really like this feature as well which is the where we have the change of pitch in the roof we put glass there so um so it gives us a nice bit of light coming in um, that was a, kind of a bit of an afterthought in designing it. I thought, oh, why not just put glass there and then um, 
yeah, so glad we did that because mm -hmm. it, it gives us sort of the morning sun. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit like panorama view. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got a little corner for, for our guitar as well. We struggled to know where to put the guitar, but um, yeah. we found a little spot for it. Um, and you can see we've got our slow cooker on here. We're making um, we're making a lasagna in here today, and we just pop it. Up. Obviously, not always enough room in the kitchen, but we just yeah um, are able to use it. And we actually find the slow cooker is so efficient; it it doesn't use that much. Um, well, it's just you, it's just taking from the solar basically, so we're not having to use the gas. So we do a lot of cooking in our slow cooker, um, and this area here, but all the plants give us a lot of privacy. You know, people can't see into the bedroom. It's it's a private space for us, and a, an area where you can also you know chill out, or if you've had a, a long day, come here, and it it feels like you're on your own, um, which is a really nice part of the house to have. Not that there's ever like lots of people just in our house <laughs> no it's sometimes important to have a privacy yeah. exactly then, when you when you're living in a small space yeah. just if it's raining or exactly all right thanks for watching there is one more video if you want to learn a bit more how they living and how they found this land you can find it right here social media from Amy and Tom I will leave in the description below and see you the next one cheers